start a new drawing and select Akadisu 3D template for metric unit since we are using millimeters and click open. I'm just gonna adjust the screen and open my reference drawing which is down here and I'm gonna start from front view which is this drawing here. So what I'm gonna do is just draw this portion here because later I'm, I'm gonna use revolve command to complete the object. So make sure to bring your drawing to front view and bring your drawing to parallel projection. So click this drop down arrow and select parallel. And I'm gonna start from this corner here. So start with line, so type L for line. Click anywhere on the screen and make sure your dynamic input is on polar tracking or ortho mode, object snap tracking, object snap, and uh, maybe selection cycling. All right, so bring your drawing upward and enter three units. Just zoom in. All right, and move your cursor to the left for three units. Go upward for two units to the left for two units go downward for 2.1 to the left for 2.5 go upward for 1.1 units then to the left for 8.5 Go downward, so from this corner to this corner, the height is 4. And just close this one. So click that in point. And I'm gonna cut this portion here. So the distance from the corner here to this. So the distance from this corner here to this corner is 1.5. So what I'm going to do is draw a line or you can just type in L, right click and specify first point. Don't click uh, after that uh, square or rectangle or it's square. Just pull down your cursor and you can see that green dashed line and enter 1.5. And then bring it down below the X axis and press the tab key. And then enter tw minus 27 degrees since it's below the x-axis. There you go. And then just trim this one. So TR for trim command. Enter twice. And click this portion here and this one here. And this one here. All right. Now join the segments by typing J for join command, right click to enter and just window the whole thing. Let me check if everything is connected. Yeah, we're good. And the distance from this point here, this point to this point, because we are gonna use this line here as the axis of rotation. So I'm just gonna draw again line from this in point downward for three units. And yeah, you can draw a line somewhere here, as long as it's straight. All right, so I'm gonna revolve this one for 360 degrees. So type REV for revolve command. Right click to enter and select object to revolve. Right click to enter again and specify axis start point. Start from this in point and click this in point or anywhere as long as it's straight. And enter 360 degrees. And I'm going to jump for this edge here, which is this one here. I'm just going to turn off the grid. So go to solid, select um, inside the solid editing panel, click this drop down arrow and select fillet, no, jumper edge. And uh, go down to the command prompt and click the distance or you can just right click and select distance and enter point. Uh, the distance there is 0.5 enter and the second distance specify 0.5 enter 
and select an edge which is this one here enter and enter again to accept now we are done so what I'm gonna do is just move this one and erase the unwanted objects I can apply materials I'm just gonna minimize this one now maximize this one materials I just want to make this shinier so click this drop down arrow by the Autodesk library and I'm just gonna use metallic paint and uh, maybe select uh, maybe this one here or wheat yeah click this and then just drag it here uh, it's shinier and then go to uh, home and uh, go to visualize I'm just gonna make this brighter uh, brightness contrast I think that's good and then uh, bring this to top view or side view and then I'm just gonna copy this one first so I'm gonna show you what's inside oh copy enter and then slice so inside the solid editing panel select slice command and then from the center or the from the quadrant or you can shift right click and select center and you can see you can tell it's the center we're snapping the center because of that circle sign and then go sideways and specify a point on desired side you can click up here or down matter and then I'm gonna show you um, the cut inside and thanks for watching I think we're done and see you again for the next tutorial Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial. Thanks!